What's up, guys? What's up? Um, just want to weigh my, give my opinion on the uh, the Iron Addicts versus the Gym Gang uh, shootout that happened at uh, Iron Addicts Gym last week. Uh, it's all over the place. You see it on. Um, I've seen like 50 videos of it. You know, some of Iron Addicts uh, people and some of Gym Gang's people. Um, and this is my opinion on it. Um, when I first, anybody doesn't know what. What I'm talking about is the uh, the gym gang are a group of guys, girls too, uh, mostly black. We got a few white guys, I think, on there. Um, they're out of New York, um, and they got a little gimmick going, almost like a gang. Um, so it's um, but it's like geared toward lifting. Uh, pretty cool gimmick, you know. When I first saw these guys, I was like, man, what the fuck is this shit, you know? So. Um, and then I started watching them more and more and like kind of, you know, getting on my nerves. I'm like, um, kind of being thuggish and, you know, and this and that. And, um, and I saw where they challenged CT Fletcher and Iron Addicts Gym, you know, going over there and doing a lift off over there in California. Um, CT of course, um, accepted it and it happened, I think on March 28th, uh, and it was streamed actually live on Facebook and then a bunch of videos came about it. Uh, I see everybody's, you know, all these comments down there, people saying that uh, Iron Addicts just wiped the floor with them. Um, at first, I thought that when I looked at it, you know, I looked at some of the, you know, the live stream and some of the stuff, and I'm like, you know what, they did get their ass beat. But now I kind of have a different opinion about it. Uh, first of all, you got to have major respect for them guys. Them dudes flew over there, guys and girls, flew over there. I don't know who paid for all that shit, but flew over there to California and showed up. And there was a ton of them there. I have trouble getting three or four guys to work out here at one time, much less a bunch of dudes flying over from across the nation. That's dedication, and you got to give it to them. And nothing against C.T. Fletcher, because I respect C.T. Fletcher, man. And I've been in this business for a long time. I've been powerlifting. Some people, I don't want to hear no shit. Why don't you, you know, I'm just starting my YouTube trying to get this thing going. I've been in this business for a long time. I competed in powerlifting for 20 years. I actually competed in a contest that C.T. Fletcher did back in the day. Um... And I competed at the uh, Arnold Classic for seven straight years in the WPO. So I've been doing this for a long time. Um, here's where my mind kind of changed. You know, when I, I, I thought about it, the events that they put on. The first event was a skull crusher. And in my opinion, who gives a fuck how much you can skull crush? Seriously, think about it. I mean, I know that CT Fletcher's in them, nothing against him. And you see all their, you know, their, their videos about the gauntlet and some of their videos they do. It's all skull crusher things. So that's kind of what they do. And then the next event was the, the preacher curl. And in my opinion, again, who gives a fuck how much you can preach a curl? I mean, that's not something that you go at it. And I'm not saying anything against and some of it because some of the lifts were pretty impressive. C.T. Fletcher did two plates on each side. It was a little bit of cheating going on, but he did do two plates. And not very many other guys could do that no matter what size and age they were. I also saw C.T. Fletcher doing a skull crusher. And another guy jumped on the bench afterwards, a big dude from from Gym Gang, and it just went straight to the ground. So kudos to that. I mean, I'm not saying they're not strong, but it's kind of like the, the events. It's like, who gives a fuck if you beat me in the Skull Crusher or not? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? When it got to the main lifts, like the deadlift, Gym Gang was, was right there hanging. And that white dude for Gym Gang was actually, he was funny. A little annoying at first, but actually pretty funny. And his lifts were very good, though, so I got to say that. And, um... Uh, the deadlift they hung right there with them hung with them, you know, and they were lighter than some of the guys um, I can't remember the guy with the dreadlocks for uh, Iron Addicts. I think that's C.T. Fletcher's, you know, he's got a couple sons, but um, And then the bench press You know, it was big boy from strength cartel another the black dude. I can't remember what he's with he's got his own little thing going on and There was that big white dude that benched over 600. I think he was from Iron Addicts but they were right there with them too, on it, you know. I mean, the only ones that weren't it was the guys that had nothing to do with with uh, Iron Addicts. There was like string cartel and on that had nothing to do, and they specialize in powerlifting. And then the last thing they don't show, the only time you can see this, is on the Gym Gang um, videos, is the squat. And even then, and you can look look up Gym Gang's videos, and you can see where Gym Gang says, one of the guys from Gym Gang goes, "Hey man," looks in the camera, goes, "Where's all the cameras at now? Now that we're squatting." Um, and they had some girls and they had, you know, they had this one girl that was squatting 315 like it was not, and there was really nobody to challenge them. So on the main core events, 
gym gang was right there and the physiques are much better than so much better than iron axe and nothing against ct flesh and them i respect them man i like those i mean honestly you know big rob and all them but i don't think they got their ass beat they they went all the way across the nation i gotta have you know i got like a whole different respect for those guys at first i was like okay who the fuck is this shit what's this thug shit but now that i look at it man between their physiques and between you know like i said they didn't you know it's like if if, if you think they got smashed okay they got smashed in the skull crusher who really gives a fuck if you can out skull crush me i don't really give a fuck but when the bench press and the main events the core lifts the squat you know what i'm saying they were right there with them so um that's my take on it um i thought it was cool i think this this sport you know needs this kind of shit i think it's cool with uh you know it, it almost like instead of attacking in the streets with guns and knives and stuff they um you know let's go at it with weights i think it's cool actually i want to do some videos with some you know here coming up with some people there with uh with my little gym gang so stay tuned but anyway that's just my thought about it i think you know in my opinion gym gang hung with them and so and you know they got beat and they really didn't get beat that much in the um in the uh the preacher curl the white dude did really good in the preacher curl. he had the, the most strict he, he was the uh, had the most strict form out of all of them and he was with gym gang so um but you know there was some good lifts doing even with cheating there was some cheating you know what i'm saying i'm not saying i saw some some uh some big lifts but it, like i said you know you beat me on the you can be out preacher curl me or i'll you know do me on the skull crusher i really don't give a fuck let's take it to the bar let's take it to the squat rack let's take it to the floor in the deadlift and then we'll see what's up that's just my take see you guys